I received a comment on my YouTube channel from a viewer and he asks, can we secure the spring roll using zip ties or do we have to buy or do it yourself make one of those big lock shaped bangles? Well this clip will answer that question. Cable ties, electrical cable ties come in many sizes. This one here is 4.6 mils across and this cable tie should never be used when dealing with clock mainsprings because they contain a serious amount of energy in them. If you're willing to risk your hands and maybe your eyes then go ahead and use one of these 4.6 millimeter cable ties. They're not strong enough and when they're done up and containing the mainspring, that little lug in there that catches in those grooves there is not particularly strong. And while the pressure's on it continually from the mainspring trying to undo, it'll start to stress a little bit in there. And then this part of the cable tie will fly out like so and the spring will lose all its energy and may hit you in the face or at least damage your hands and you've only got to do that once and you learn that lesson pretty quickly. So in actual fact the minimum size if you're going to use a plastic one is 7.6 mil across there. You can see that is a very substantial size cable tie relative to the little 4.6 that you must not use. You can see that this is going to be way stronger than that. So you can use this for sure, that's guaranteed. They're very strong, I have used them on occasions when the mainspring is too close to the first wheel and I can't get one of those mainspring clamps on to contain the power of the mainspring. I've used these, the 7.6mm, and they're very good, they hold on very tightly. Just remember once you've pulled it through and it's tight, it's best to cut this loose end off up here about an inch away from where it's contained because if you leave this on it's going to be pretty hard maneuvering things in around so I tend to cut it off there and get rid of that bit there and if you're still a little bit nervous about that which you shouldn't be in actual fact however you can get the same thing in stainless steel and they're 7.9 mil wide marginally wider than the plastic one not very much but you can use those and you just it goes in the same way you pull it round like that and they are also very very strong so quick reiteration don't use this one the 4.6 or anything narrower than that you're asking for trouble the minimum you can use 7.6 these actually get wider, I think you can get up to about 10 millimeters wide, I think, but 7.6 is quite acceptable to safely contain the main springs on American kitchen clocks and those sort of movements, and also German and English ones. Or you've got your stainless steel option. So being the case, 7.6 mil is the way to go and they're obtainable at big box stores and those sort of places and they're not particularly expensive and i've got a packet here that's got their 370 370 millimeters long 7.6 mil wide packet 25 and i think that was about ten dollars ten dollars australian so they're way in excess of what i need you only ever need two or four in your kit to make sure that you're covered but they're a worthwhile investment. Obviously they can be used for other things too. So there it is, 7.6 mil plastic minimum, and you're quite safe.